welcome to all dear students today i am going to deliver a lecture on topic new economic policy of 1991 when india became open economy when there was international trade trade of imports and exports with the rest of world and what were the causes of becoming open economy adopting this model that we have already learned in our previous lecture such as india was facing at that time huge fiscal deficit high inflation and shortfall of foreign exchange reserves Therefore, India has initiated new economic reforms in nineteen ninety one, in which it has adopted LPG model. This LPG model has been adopted. It has been adopted. Its full form is that is liberalization, P is privatization, and G is globalization. First, we will learn about liberalization of the economy. सीखेंगे वट डज इट मीन लिबरलाइजेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमी मीन्स एबसेंस ऑफ डायरेक्ट कंट्रोल बाई गवर्नमेंट ऑन सर्टन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज सच एज इंडस्ट्रियल लाइसेंसिंग कंट्रोल ऑफ फॉरन एक्सचेंज एंड वेन गवर्नमेंट डज नॉट इंटरवीन इन दीज economic activities economic policies when there is liberal policy towards these economic policies then it is known as liberalization of economy this is a simple definition of liberalization of economy it refers to the absence of direct control by government such as industrial licensing for exchange control as you know that there were some industrial policies such as industrial policy of 1948 1956 and industrial policy of 1991 and there were some features of these industrial policies under which government has put its control on some industries for its approval for issuing licensing licenses which has restricted the expansion of business activity in the economy that has reduced it that has decreased the economic growth of economy economic growth of country and country have faced much implication is of these controlled by government so in order to remove these hindrances in the expansion of the economy in boosting the economic activities of country government has adopted this lpg model and it has removed certain restrictions in issuing industrial licenses and also has reduced its control on foreign exchange this has boosted the investors the industrial listers which have increased the production capacity of economy that has in turn increased the economic growth of country and what were the measures taken for liberalization of economy number 1 is or we can say a part abolition of industrial licensing abolition khatam karna abolition of industrial licensing
there are only six industries which are directly under the supervision of government whose control lies in the hands of government and the rest of industries they they were given in the hands of private businessmen private investors private investors were allowed to invest in those industries except only these six industries further it was reduced to three which includes atomic energy railway etc second one is abolition of mrtp act mrtp act of 1969 ye act 1969 mein pass hua hai इसका जो फुल फॉर्म है दैट इज मोनोपोलिस्टिक रेस्ट्रिक्ट एंड ट्रेड प्रैक्टिस दिस इज इट फुल फॉर्म मोनोपोलिस्टिक रेस्ट्रिक्ट एंड ट्रेड प्रैक्टिस एंड अंडर दिस एक्ट दो फर्म्स हैविंग एसेटस जिसको हम असासा कहते हैं उर्दू में हैविंग एसेटस मोर देन हंड्रेड करोड़ जिनके पास जो एसेट था हंड्रेड करोड़ से ज्यादा था उनको गवर्नमेंट अप्रूवल लाना जरूरी था इनडायरेक्ट इट मीन देर वायर कंट्रोल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑन दीज फर्म्स बट आफ्टर दिस लिबरलाइजेशन पॉलिसी इट वॉज एबॉलिश इसको खत्म किया गया and it was replaced by the liberalization of economy ho gaya to is act ko replace kiya gaya hai by competition act to 2002 aur jo objective tha mrtp act ka wo ye tha to prevent the concentration of economic power in few firms second objective tha to prevent unfair trade practices and also to prevent monopolies ab isko khatam kiya gaya hai usko replace kiya gaya hai by this act competition act 2002 and there were some liberal policy towards the private sector under this act and third one is increase in investment limit of small industries increase in investment limit of small industries small scale industries jinka aham role hai economy mein unka jo investment limit hai wo increase kiya gaya hai under this model under this policy liberalization of economy and it was increased to 5 crore का जो लिमिट है इन्वेस्टमेंट का वो बढ़ा दिया गया है पांच करोड़ तक एंड वन मोर मेजर टेकन फॉर लिबराइजेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमी वाज फ्रीडम टू इंपोर्ट कैपिटल गुड्स एंड टेक्नोलॉजी और लिबरलाइजेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमी पॉलिसी there was freedom to import 
capital goods and technology capital goods as you know these are the goods which are used to produce consumer goods and there was also freedom to import technology which is not available in our own country for example firms industries which need to produce computers and electronic goods and they have not the element of technology in their own country in our own country such as in case of india and they were allowed to import this type of technology from other countries computer and electronics computers and electronics these industries are known as sunrise industries unko hum sunrise industries bhi kehte hain sunrise industries sunrise industries last one is tax reforms such as decrease in direct tax for example decrease in income tax when there is decrease in income tax it will increase the disposable income of the taxpayer the individual which will increase his demand for goods and services that will lead to increase in supply increase in production of goods and services that will in turn increase the demand for factors of production mean generation of income employment generation of employment and income which will increase the economic growth of economy now we will learn about privatization of economy privatization of economy isme jo economic power hota hai government ka jo government ka control hota hai wo transfer hota hai from public sector undertaking to private sector ye wholly bhi ho sakta hai ya partially bhi iski jo definition hai wo ye privatization of economy it means transfer of public sector undertakings just come kehte hain psus to private sector wholly or partially ya to pura ka pura jo share hota hai government ka wo transfer hota hai private sector ko wo sell hota hai private sector ko या गवर्नमेंट कुछ शेयर मौजूद रखता है इन फर्म्स में उन इंडस्ट्रीज में दोनों को हम कहते हैं प्राइवेटाइजेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमी चाहे वो इकोनॉमिक पावर ट्रांसफर हो चाहे वो पब्लिक सेक्टर अंडरटेकिंग ट्रांसफर हो प्राइवेट सेक्टर को होली या पार्शली इसके जो कॉजेज है वो जो हत है वाई देर इज प्राइवेटाइजेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमी वाई गवर्नमेंट ट्रांसफर दीज पब्लिक एंड सेक्टर टेकिंग टू प्राइवेट सेक्टर पब्लिक सेक्टर आर दोज फॉर्म दोज इंडस्ट्रीज विच आर अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट इन विच गवर्नमेंट इन्वेस्टर्स and then these sectors are transferred to private sector to the private businessmen to the private industrialists the reason the cause is number one is these public sector undertakings there is inefficiency 
are part of employees the term is a production in absence in efficiency of public sector undertaking us because the employees of these public under sector undertaking is they know that they will get their salary every month and they do not take any interest in promoting the business of these public sector undertaking is they do not take interest in the production of these public sector undertaking is the result is that these public under sector undertaking is faces loss of revenue and on the other part government has to pay the salary towards its employees and in that case government is forced to transfer these public sector undertaking is to sell off its shares to the private sector yani ki uske employees hote hain unko malum hota hai ki unko salary milegi isliye wo interest nahi lete hain jo iski production ho usko increase kiya jaye isliye jab unki efficiency badh jati hai to government majboor hoti hai ki usko sell off kiya jaye usko transfer kiya jaye private sector ko सेकेंड कॉज जो है इसका वो ये है हाई फिजिकल डेफसिट हाई फिजिकल डेफसिट फिजिकल डेफसिट के बारे में हमने ऑलरेडी पढ़ा है इट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टोटल रेवन्यू टोटल रिसीट्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट एंड टोटल एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ गवर्नमेंट एंड इट एक्सक्लूड्स लोन्स and this fiscal deficit it shows the borrowing is of government borrowing is by government government ne kitna udhar liya hai this is shown by this fiscal deficit and when there is high fiscal deficit it shows that there is huge borrowing is by government there is shortfall of revenue as compared to expenditure of the government in that case to meet this high fiscal deficit government transfer this public sector undertaking it sells the share of these industries these firms to the private sector in order to raise resource in order to raise income which will be used to reduce the fiscal deficit and what are the measures that leads to privatization of economy disinvestment or we can write public disinvestment 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 it is opposite to investment disinvestment it refers to sell off sell off bejna certain assets or shares of firm the government firm hoti hai या कंपनी होती है उसके जो शेयर्स होते हैं वो बेचते हैं गवर्नमेंट प्राइवेट सेक्टर को इन ऑर्डर टू रेज रिसोर्सेस इन ऑर्डर टू रेज रिसोर्स इनकम रेवन्यू रेवन्यू इनकम उसको हम कहते हैं डिस इन्वेस्टमेंट पॉलिसी इससे क्या होता है प्राइवेटाइजेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमी बिकॉज वेन गवर्नमेंट सेल्स द शेयर्स ऑफ इट्स फर्म 
compared to the private sector in order to reserve it means the control now shifts from government sector to private sector means privatization of economy the last one is globalization globalization what is meant by globalization globalization means it is the process by which there is integration of economies leading to global economy and in globalization of economy there is no restriction in free flow of goods and services technology and even human capital human resources this is the definition of globalization it is a process of integrating various economies of world or we can say integration of various economies of world such as integration of indian economy usa economy chinese economy pakistan's economy etc and there is no restriction there is no hindrance in free flow of goods and services and technology and even free flow of human capital human capital as you know these are the individuals humans having some specific knowledge of particular field professional persons skilled persons such as engineers doctors technocrats etc and what are its components iske jo components hai wo kya hai components of globalization number 1 is increase in foreign direct investment increase in fdi foreign direct investment taaki isse jo foreign direct investment ho wo increase ho jaye ga ek component hai globalization of economy fdi ke bare mein humne already seekha hai last lecture mein second component is partial convertibility of currency partial convertibility of currency in partial convertibility of currency there is freedom to convert domestic currency into foreign currency and foreign currency into domestic currency for certain purposes partial convertibility of currency mein the freedom hota hai ek individual ko ek investor ko ki wo convert kar sakta hai domestic currency into foreign currency and vice versa such as rupee ko convert karna hai dollar mein pound mein ya dollar को इंडियन रुपये में कन्वर्ट करना है और इन केस ऑफ इंडिया इट वाज अलाउड ऑल इन केस ऑफ करंट अकाउंट एंड देयर वाई रेस्ट्रिक्शन इन कैपिटल अकाउंट ट्रांजेक्शन थर्ड कंपोनेंट ऑफ ग्लोबलाइजेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमी वाज मल्टीनेशनल कंपनीज एमएनसीज मल्टीनेशनल कंपनीज और मल्टीनेशनल कॉरपोरेशन ये वो कंपनीज होते हैं जो ऊन करते हैं या कंट्रोल करते हैं प्रोडक्शन ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज एट लीस्ट एक मुल्क में अदर देन इट इज ओन कंट्री कम से कम एक फॉरेन कंट्री में इसका बिजनेस हो तो उसको हम कहते हैं मल्टीनेशनल कंपनीज एम एन सीज मल्टीनेशनल कंपनीज इट इज एन एंटरप्राइज दैट ओन और कंट्रोल प्रोडक्शन ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विस इन एट लीस्ट वन कंट्री अदर देन इट इज होम कंट्री फॉर एग्जाम्पल इंडियन बिजनेस मैन जिसका अपना बिजनेस हो इंडिया में और उसके अलावा उसकी जो बिजनेस है वो यूएसए में भी है उसको हम उस फॉर्म को उस कंपनी को हम कह सकते हैं मल्टीनेशनल कंपनी एंड फोर्थ कंपोनेंट ऑफ ग्लोबलाइजेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमी वाज लो टरीफ लो 
tariffs tariff is an imposition of tax on imports in simple words we can say it is an it's a tax on imports imports these are the goods and services that is demanded from the rest of world and for that we have to pay and it has it is impact on domestic production it decrease the domestic production of the same good in order to prevent the economy from this problem government imposes tax on imports that increases price and decreases the demand and demand shifts from these imports to domestic production but when there is globalization of economy when there is free flow of goods and services then there is free flow of imports and exports these tariffs should be reduced therefore government has adopted a policy in order to reduce the tariff rate on imports that is low tariffs isse kya hua jo globalization of economy isko boost hua there were free flow of goods and services now what is the saying of critics of lpg model critics of lpg model liberalization privatization and globalization model number 1 is it bypass agriculture and agro based industries bypass it neglects the importance of agricultural sector agricultural commodities bypasses agriculture and agro based industries wo industries jinka daro madar hai agriculture sector pe agro based industries such as cotton industry jute industry etc jo critics hai is model ka wo ye kehte hain ki bypass hai ignore karta hai agriculture sector ko agriculture commodities ko unka jo importance hai world economy mein aur wo industries that is based on agriculture sectors ko hum kehte hain agri agro based industries एंड उनका कहना है जो एम एन सीज है मल्टी नेशनल कंपनीज मल्टी नेशनल कॉरपोरेशन दे हैव इम्पैक्टेड स्मॉल स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज हैव मच इम्पैक्टेड का बुरा असर पड़ा है स्मॉल स्केल इंडस्ट्री बिकॉज स्मॉल स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज कैन नॉट फेस द कंपटिशन फ्रॉम दीज मल्टी नेशनल कंपनीज the production have declined that lead to the decrease in generation of employment in employment generation income etc means how much impacted small scale industries this was all about lpg model and we have already learned about the features of these liberalization privatization globalization i hope you have got it thanks